Hey there, CPO here, and I wanted to take just a minute to discuss battery storage. If you've seen my earlier videos about actually charging my batteries, you'll know how excited I was to actually be able to apply charge uh, and, uh, and what learning process I had to go through to uh, just even get that far. But since then, um, I'm also learning that I don't want to leave these things sitting at full charge for an extended period of time. My build has been taking uh, weeks. Uh, literally, I think I'm getting ready to hit uh, the month mark here, um, taking my time, as you're aware. Um, and uh, so one of the issues I now have to deal with is making sure that I don't uh, damage my batteries by leaving them fully charged when not being used. So I started looking into battery storage and safe battery voltage levels. So uh, what I've learned is that the best way to store a LiPo battery is somewhere in the 50% charge range, uh, you know, 50 to 60% discharge, whatever. It seems like a general consensus is somewhere between 3.7 to 3.8 volts uh, per cell seems to be a good uh, storage setting. Now the fully charged batteries are at 4.2 volts per cell. Um, so, um, you know, basically, like I said, you're, you're running at about somewhere in the, the middle uh, charge mark. Then the next question is, how long can you leave it at a full charge before you begin damaging the battery? And, uh, and that's debatable. Some people will say a couple of days tops. Some people will say a couple of weeks tops. I think the general uh, rule of thumb that I'm going to follow, you follow whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with, is uh, if I'm going to not use the batteries for a couple of weeks, then I'm going to make sure that I put them into storage mode. And I'm going to do my best to even, uh, from week to week basis, make sure that they're in a storage mode if they're not going to be, be flown. Um, but the reality of it is that when a battery is fully charged, it's degrading instantly. It's just that degradation is negligible and for the most part, not even perceivable by us. The problem is degradation um, increases the longer that it's at that level. So, or the rate of degradation, I would guess, uh, becomes more apparent the longer it's at a fully charged state. So at any rate, uh, basically I use my Thunder T6 multi-charger to put my batteries into storage mode. As you can see here, I have two batteries. Uh, one of them is starting out at about 3.95 volts per cell, and uh, the other one is starting out almost fully charged, 4.11 volts per cell, 4.1 volts per cell in that range. Um, so what I want to do is just basically tell my charger to uh, reduce the voltage levels to a storage voltage level. And uh, I have a setting in this charger. I'm sure most chargers have a storage setting. The manual for this particular charger, the Thunder T6, uh, suggests that 3.85 volts per cell is what it's looking for uh, at a storage level. Um, and uh, so uh, it basically uh, brings the voltage down by putting a little bit of load on the battery. I'm guessing, you know, I'm not, I'm not an electrical engineer here, but I would assume it puts a little bit of a load on the battery in order to drain that. Uh, and uh, I had mine set at a one amp uh, rate of discharge, so uh, very very low uh, amount of load, and it took uh, quite a while to actually um, bring it down from full to to the storage levels. Now I am using the LipoGuard bag for the discharge of the batteries. I don't know if it's as important to worry about battery heating or battery uh, potential fires with. Uh, the discharge process, but uh, either way, I'm using it. It seems seems like a reasonable thing to do. I'm actually doing this on a concrete surface uh, in a basement. So, uh, and particularly because I'm new at this, and so uh, you know, I don't know what to expect. And I left it unattended, and I just wanted to make sure that I was safe. So this is uh, what my display looks like about five five and a half minutes into the 
storage mode discharge process. Um, as you can see, I'm running 6S LiPos, and uh, I have my charger set to storage mode. I had several options. I could store, I could discharge, I could charge, I could quick charge. You know, there's all these options. And basically, just uh, based on, on what uh, you tell it you want to do, it uses different configuration or different settings uh, to, to affect that outcome. So uh, it's using a very low amperage. Uh, you can see here 0.2 amp and 0.3 amp on the different batteries to affect that discharge. Um, and uh, the current voltage is 24.63 on that bottom one. Uh, that's the closest to a fully charged one. Now 25.2 volts is a fully charged 6S LiPo. So um, basically what it's gonna do is bring it down from there. And uh, that's pretty much just uh, how that works. So when I got home from work, uh, this is what I was uh, presented with. Basically, the end screens for the uh, the discharge uh, function. Uh, you can see 120 minutes approximately for the bottom battery and 86 minutes for the, the upper battery to get down to 22.8 volts. Uh, that's a combined voltage uh, of all of the cells. And as you can see, once I look at the detail of each of the cells, um, uh, it basically brought it down to 3.8 volts per cell for the charge uh, or the for the storage charge levels. So uh, with that said, I am now safely uh, at a charge level that I can leave my batteries in storage for a while. And uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. I'm about ready to uh, really get this helicopter spooled up. So uh, hopefully very soon I'll be charging them back up so that I can start um, putting some time uh, on the heli. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I appreciate it and I appreciate all the feedback, all the comments, uh, both in the forums and on the YouTube channel. Uh, some of this stuff, like I said, is going to be really remedial for almost anybody who has been dealing with RC uh, vehicles uh, for a while. But, you know, this is uh, for somebody coming into the hobby fresh. And, and having to learn everything from, from uh, you know, square one, uh, these little things like don't leave your battery charged up uh, is, uh, is a learning experience. So hopefully this is something that somebody else can get value from, and I will catch you on the next video.